Welcome back to the talk tonight. Two organizations weigh in on the future of a stretch of highway that runs through downtown Syracuse. The stretch of highway that runs through downtown Syracuse. It is Route 81. Getting a little old and long in the tooth after more than 50 years of carrying people from the south side of the city through to the north side and downtown in between. Michael Benny joins us tonight for the talk tonight where 81, um, the discussion has been a little bit backburnered for a couple of weeks or months here. We haven't chatted about it or had many news stories about it. And then, and then this morning, uh, CNY Central had uh, Kevin Schwab from Center State CEO on Today in Central New York to go along with the editorial that the head of that organization, Rob Simpson, wrote to get this discussion, uh, breathe some new life into it. And, and that letter says a lot of things, and it doesn't say a lot of other things. But in general, it's stating these guys want to make sure that this discussion remains open, that consensus is developed, and somehow the end solution transforms this community in the future, doesn't leave it back where it was. That's yeah. a summary of it. Yeah. There's a lot of other ways to look at it, though, too. And, and, you know, I sort of wanted to find out from them what option are they advocating? Because, that as is, you noted, that is, missing. that is the one key thing in this whole um, editorial that is missing. So I spoke with, I had a lengthy conversation with Kevin Schwab this afternoon on the phone and said, so what is it? Um, an elevated, you know, a highway, the boulevard option, a tunnel, what are you guys advocating here? And they won't say at this point. They said, you know, we want to wait for all of the studies to come in. We know that the DOT is doing all these traffic studies and things. That's going to take another 12 to 18 months, perhaps. And then at that point, they might come forward with, this is what we're pushing for. But, Michael, you read it differently. I read it differently. I read it as uh, that an urban boulevard, uh, there's, there's a lot of talk in these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I don't know, what is it, 13, 14 paragraphs mm -hmm. that talks about the city being the core of the region. And, and this being a, a project that has the possibility to transform and make the city of Syracuse more beneficial, not simply to the city of Syracuse, but more beneficial to the region as a whole. Uh, it also makes clear that the 81, since the 81 viaduct was built, since the elevated stretch was built uh, 50 years ago, that we've been losing population, that this has, and, and then that some people are sort of romanticizing the idea of this elevated stretch of highway and what it's managed to do for our community. And Center State CEO is very clear in saying that's not the case. Although they also say in here, and it's important to note, that there are many, many more reasons other than Route 81 for the decline of any northeastern Absolutely. city uh, similar to Syracuse over the last two or three generations now. I are think what's happening though in our community is that people are looking for answers. They want to know what will this mean if we leave it the way it is, if we bring it down and no one really has those answers. So when the Save81.org group uh, mm -hmm. came about, you know, Senator John D. Francisco was part of the group and many local business leaders, and so I think a lot of people rallied behind them, um, and they are advocating keeping it the way that it is, we're, you know, repairing it, leaving 81 going through Syracuse. And so I think that, you know, Center State CEO felt the need to come forward with you know, wait a minute, let's not everyone rally around this one idea. Let's keep the options open here and not sort of pigeon tail ourselves into just one option or, or one conversation happening in our community. But isn't that what's happened so far? I mean, we've reiterated over and over again, there, there are these two main sort of options that emerged, that emerged and, but, but we're still seeking new ideas. It's, it's hard to, to sort of put out the call for new ideas when you've got so many people focused either for or against one of these two options. Well, I, I was at the session in May that was at the On Center. We reported from there extensively, and the, the problem ends up being that there's not a consensus, and there needs to be something at least approaching consensus before somebody says, here, here's a billion dollars, or here's a billion and a half dollars to do, whether it is a tunnel, which was ruled out, whether it's a west side highway, which was ruled out, whether it's some dramatic change to our community, it's either right now boulevard or rebuild an elevated highway and that's what the DOT is really looking at right now so I'm a little bit concerned about the center state CEO saying well when all the data comes in well the only data that's going to come in is for those two options right now right. So right. unless somebody gets in the ear of the people doing this at a higher level and says, we're not happy with only these two options, then that's where it's going. Well, they have said that Center State CEO does have a voice in this process, that he has been talking to the I commissioner so. and will continue to do so. So you have to hope that, you know, those conversations will go on. I think so. It's a big decision. Our conversation continues. In